The following slideshow is intended to help you recognize and get rid of the problem of plagiarism. If you would like only the video portion, just turn the audio down. Few people set out to be plagiarists, but for many students, plagiarism happens. Why do we plagiarize? We're pressed for time. It doesn't seem like a big deal. Other people write better than we do. We're not sure what plagiarism is all about, so we take a chance. We believe most profs don't have the time to check on us. We believe most profs don't have the internet skills to figure out what we did. So what exactly is plagiarism? The Oxford English Dictionary defines it as follows. The action or practice of taking someone else's work, idea, etc., and passing it off as one's own, or literary theft. Does this mean that I can't quote from or refer to anyone else's writing? No, it doesn't mean that. You can use other people's writing if you follow the right rules. When quoting, you need quotation marks, a reference, and an item in your bibliography. Have a look at the quotation below and the bibliography item that corresponds to it. When referring to an author's work, you don't need quotation marks, but you do need a reference and an item in your bibliography. Have a look at the following reference to an author's work and bibliography item. The heart of the problem of plagiarism is misrepresentation, which breaks all the rules for using other people's work. Stealing a person's words is similar to stealing somebody's car and impressing your friends by pretending it's yours. It's theft, but more seriously, it's misrepresentation. Any time I leave the impression that the words or ideas I've written are mine, when actually they came from someone else, I am plagiarizing. Because passing off someone else's words or ideas as your own is misrepresentation, it is viewed as academic fraud as well as academic theft. The penalties are severe. Anything from a failed research paper to a failed course to expulsion from the institution. It's that serious. So what are the boundaries? How do I know when I've become a plagiarist? Some boundaries are obvious. If I copy material from a book or article, don't use quotation marks, and don't provide a citation to the source, I am stealing someone else's words and pretending they are mine. If I get someone else to write my paper or buy a paper from a commercial source, or simply copy a whole paper off the internet, I am clearly plagiarizing. I plagiarize if I take something off the internet? But isn't the internet free for all? People post things there so other people can use them. Ah, but you're confusing access and plagiarism. Even if people give you permission to use their material, using it without indicating the source makes it look like it's your material. That's plagiarism. Other boundaries are not so clear. What if I use a chart or some other graphic off the internet, something that isn't really words? Is that plagiarism? Yes, it is. It is still content, even if it isn't words. As such, it is the property of the one who created it, and passing it off as yours is plagiarism. What if I take a paragraph of text and just change a few words to make it my own? Am I still a plagiarist? Yes, you are. The problem here is a subtle one, so let's try to understand it. When you just change a few words, the structure of the original is still there. 
the form of the paragraph, the arrangement of sentences, the ideas in their sequence. You may change some of the words, but you are stealing the structure. What if I don't use another author's words at all, but I find an author that has a great idea that I don't see anywhere else? Can I use it? Only if you create a citation to show that the idea is not yours, but came from this other author. Otherwise, you are stealing an idea. We've looked at some examples, but what ties them all together? It's the idea of intellectual property. What comes out of my mind and is communicated to others remains my property. If you use my intellectual property as if it were your own, you are plagiarizing. What can I legitimately use as an information source without having to make a citation for it? Here are some examples. Your own ideas. Your own analysis, evaluation of other people's ideas. Once you have provided citations for the ideas themselves. And common knowledge. Knowledge that you find in several sources that are not themselves depending on a single earlier source. Don't fear your own words. Most research papers major on interpretation rather than quotation. Have a look at the following. You'll see that this is an interpretation of these sources rather than a quotation of them. Let's practice. Are the following plagiarism or not? Original source. The effort required to provide online information literacy instruction is intense. Your paper? The effort required to provide online information literacy instruction is intense. This is plagiarism. It quotes the source without any indication that the words are not yours. What about this one? The original says, the effort required to provide online information literacy instruction is intense. Your paper says, the effort required to provide online information literacy instruction is intense, but it has quotation marks around it and a citation. This is not plagiarism. You've used quotation marks and cited the source so that no one believes that these are your own words. Here's one more practice item. Your original source says, the effort required to provide online information literacy instruction is intense. Your paper says, Smith, 2006, page 42, argues that providing online courses in information literacy is hard work. This is not plagiarism. You've interpreted without quoting, have cited your source, and have not used a great deal of the original terminology. One more. The original source says, the effort required to provide online information literacy instruction is intense. Your paper says, the work needed to provide online information literacy teaching is intense. This is plagiarism. Your version is a paraphrase of the original with a lot of the original terminology still there, as well as the same sentence structure. To sum up, it's plagiarism if you use any text or ideas from another source in such a way that you leave the impression that the material is yours. Unless you know the information is common knowledge, found in several sources that do not depend on a single original source, using it is plagiarism. When in doubt, provide a citation. Do yourself a big favor. Keep plagiarism out of your life.